Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have a unboxing here. Um, I reached out to Clockwork Republic and uh, asked them to send over a strap for us to check out. Um, they're meant for the Seiko SKX, but I had also mentioned to them that I have a Islander here, and uh, they asked if I could try it out on an Islander. So. Um, we'll get this unboxed and then I'll try installing it on this watch here. Um, it is an Islander, but I forgot which exact model this is. So anyway, let's get this thing open. Found my little uh, knife here. Apparently I need to sharpen again. Uh... I didn't even do that right. Okay, so Clockwork Republic. Now let's zoom in. You can see some of the information on here. So there's Instagram, uh, Facebook and Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description below as well to uh, their contact information. Okay, so this has two sets of spring bars. These nice straps here. It almost feels like FKM rubber. I'm going to have to go back and uh, take a look at their information again to see what these are. And I'll leave that in the description. And then we have these fitted end links. Uh, this doesn't bode well for installing it. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I would say this is nicely packaged. Uh, this is a padded envelope. It comes in this cardboard sleeve. It appears to be shrink wrapped in here. Really shrink wrapped. So, what I'm gonna do is I'll take the bracelet off of that and then just uh, hold these end links up to the case and see how they fit. So here's a look at the end link. Looks uh, pretty nicely machined here. I had another watch with the FKM rubber, but I shipped that one out, so I can't really compare them to each other. Yeah, let me get the bracelet off of this. I'll pause the video, take the bracelet off, and then we'll see how this fits into here. So I'll be right back. All right, so the bracelet wasn't uh, too bad to get off of here, but 
that's not why we're here. Now this is the spring bar from the Islander. It's a little thicker than the spring bar from Clockwork Republic, but um, these are meant to fit the straps. So, and uh, these both look to be the same spring bar. So maybe they're just kind to send us extras. They look the same as far as I can tell. Oh, you know what? Okay, this has SKX on it. So maybe I'll use these. Shouldn't have cut my nails so short. Here we go. Actually, let's set the end link up in the case first and see how that fits. Yeah, looks like that'll work. Yeah, I think that'll work fine. Have another watch here for reference to make sure I put the strap on the right side. I know I got a 50-50 shot, but sometimes I mess it up. So the buckle goes on this side. Put this in here. Grab a spring bar. Push it through. What did I do with my... Oh, there it is. Can't tell if that's in there or not. Yeah, I guess it is. So let's get the other side on. Put this one in here. Uh, I guess I wasn't on camera. Sorry about that. But, uh, that side wasn't too bad to get in either. Give it a little tug here. Um, everything looks to be in place. Let's get the tape off of this buckle. We got some nice tape here, nice and protective. So that's a nice milled buckle, nice milled tang as well. We got some uh, rubber keepers. Let's see how this fits on my wrist. But uh, actually, let's take a look at the end link fit here again. Looks like it fits uh, pretty well. Yeah, 
yeah, let me know what you think of this uh, combination here. Definitely looks different. I don't see too many straps that come with a fitted end link like this. Kind of reminds me of the um, the Rolex with the, their Oyster, I think it's called a Oyster Flex bracelet. Typically they have a metal end link like this. So anyway, let's get this on wrist. Thanks again to Clockwork Republic for sending this over. I'll leave a link in the description below. And also I need to look up what material this is. But, uh, it's definitely not silicone. It doesn't feel like this, this stripe here. I know this is silicone. It feels like, uh, like rubber. Not the uh, cheapo resin strap. Uh, I have a SKX uh, 171 around here somewhere. I don't know where I put it. So anyway, let's look at this on wrist. Uh, I have a six and a half inch wrist. I'm down to the third smallest hole position. And it looks like you got at least um, probably two more inches to go. So you could probably go from, say, six up to nine, eight inches, something like that. So let me know what you think of this combination. Uh, subscribe if you have not already subscribed. Like the video if you liked it and leave a comment below. I'll zoom out here in a moment just to get a little bit different perspective, but uh, definitely feels comfortable on wrist. So yeah, there we go. If you have an Islander, this will fit just fine on your Islander. And also it'll fit on the uh, Taiko SKX. All right, that will conclude today's video. As always, thank you for watching and catch you on the next one.